Hey Mike, it's really important right down here in the daytime group to laterally expand. If you have your chart scrunched up, you won't see the hollow bars. But the other key part is let me double click on the drive bars. You have to have the drive bar height. Drive bar, drive bars height. On a 33 chart, I have it set at 3. On a 71, I have it set at 6. And then in my free and my videos on the drive bar update, very extensive videos, I go into how to adjust that depending on the time frame you're on. If you don't have that after you import the file, what's happening is it's getting corrupted. So what you have to do is go into your, do or into your downloads folder on your computer completely delete the original drivebars.zip. When you go back to the email to the box.com link, make sure you don't have any firewalls on or anything like that, or maybe even on a different computer, download it, the drivebars.zip, put it on a uh, stick, and then take that and then go load it into your computer uh, where you're doing most of your trading. Download it again. Then when you import it, import it into Ninja and immediately uh, shut down and restart the platform. I've only had this happen to one other guy out of about 200 people now. So uh, I swear I had sent this procedure email to you the other day and I can't find it. Uh, there's something sitting in draft folder, but like the body is missing. So I don't know. I've had a little bit of issues with my uh, this account connected to Gmail uh, for info at New Elgo. It's actually a Gmail account, but uh, even though it's not Gmail. But anyhow, that's how you fix it. Uh, let me know if that helps, and I'll talk to you soon.